everyone. Welcome back to How To Tuesday. You might notice that the wall behind me is a little bit different than it is each week. And that's because today I am taping from my own personal sewing studio. This is where I create all of the things when I'm not teaching you guys how to make things. So this week as I'm getting ready to teach summer camp, I'm going to show you a really cool way to identify your luggage if you're going away to overnight camp or maybe you go on vacation with your families. So we're going to make an embroidered luggage tag that you can embroider with your initials or your name. What if someone else has my name? Oh gosh, I hope there's no more Miss Alicia's. That would just be weird. To make your luggage tag, you'll need a few items. You'll need two pieces of fabric. I've used a piece of fleece and a piece of felt. This felt here is what I'm going to embroider on. So mine measures five inches wide by three and a half inches high. This other fabric is going to be my outside. This one measures five and a half inches wide by just a little over four inches tall. You'll also need embroidery floss and an embroidery needle. To make your name tag, you'll begin by using the smaller piece. This is what you're going to write either your name or your initials on. I'm going to write my initials, which are A-R-T, and I'm going to stitch that right across the middle. If it helps, you can draw the letters first so that you have an outline to trace. Sometimes that makes it much easier to follow. So I'm going to begin by using the back stitch. If you remember, the back stitch is very simple. It's a lot like your running stitch. You come straight up from the bottom and then you go straight back down right beside it. The difference between the back stitch and the running stitch is instead of coming up right beside your previous stitch, you come up just ahead. You bring your needle up and then you go back to fill in this space and then my needle is going to come right back down and that way I have a nice straight line for my letters. And I'm going to continue this until I get my A, my R, and my T. Now that I've embroidered my initials and a smiley face on my luggage tag, I'm going to place this right in the middle of my other piece. So you want to make sure that you place your smaller one right in the middle of your larger one so that it's nice and even on all four sides so that you can see that different color. So now for the attachment you can do one of two things. You can do a running stitch by hand or a whip stitch or a blanket stitch all the way around your luggage tag or if you're like me and you love to machine sew, you can machine sew all the way around. So I'm going to show you what this looks like with a machine sewn zigzag stitch. Uh -huh. right. So now we're ready for a zigzag stitch and I'm going to do this just inside of my yellow felt here. And then here you have your zigzag stitched luggage tag. Now you can attach this to your luggage using a safety pin or ask your parents or your family if they have an old luggage tag where you can use the loop that attaches to your luggage. That's it for this week my friends. Join us next week for another edition of How To Tuesday.